carry Royal Marines as well. Now Diamond there is alongside Victory Jetty. It gets his name because of HMS Victory. You'll see appearing the other side of Diamond very shortly. Now Victory is in dry dock number two. She is lined with concrete and open to the public. You can have a look around the Victory, explore the cabins on board and see the spot where Nelson was shot. There is a raised plaque on the deck which reads Nelson fell here. Uh, Not surprised because I almost tripped over it myself. Victory is the oldest commissioned warship anywhere in the world. She's been in our fleet for over 200 years. She is still commissioned and officially flagship of the Royal Navy. So D-37 here, HMS Duncan, the latest warship in the Royal Navy. She was delivered at the beginning of this year and she is the sixth and last of our brand new Type 45 destroyers. Now these are the most sophisticated warships in the world. They're fitted with the Samson radar system. That's the variety of tool masts you can see throughout the ship. Now this radar can see from here to the coast of France. Detect a cricket ball moving at speeds of up to Mach 3. That's three times the speed of sound. It can track over 500 of these cricket balls moving at any one time and show you their path in 3D vision. Although they are the most sophisticated warships, there is only one bar on board. They do have 40 showers and Inglesa. one docking stations for the crew. Só para mandar bala lá para outros países lá. Estamos aqui fazendo uma voltinha na praia. Oh my ilha ali. In front of Duncan then we have F234. This is HMS Iron Duke. Now Iron Duke is a Type 23 Duke class frigate, one of 13 in the Royal Navy. Now she is very heavily armored. Up on the bow she's got a four and a half inch cannon. Behind that's the grey silo for 32 surface to air seawolf missiles. Behind that are the eight harpoon anti-ship missiles. She also carries anti-submarine mortars along the deck edge, along with a 30mm cannon either side of the funnel. Iron Duke is fitted with torpedo tubes, but I can't give you the whereabouts of these as it's highly top secret. So, estamos aqui fazendo passeio básico vendo os navios de guerra inglesa. Now most of what I'll be describing to you today folks, it will be on the right hand side or the starboard side if you prefer. But don't worry if you miss anything or you want to see anything again, as it will be on the left on the way back, as this is a return trip. Or at least we hope it is. Also if you have any cameras, please feel free to take as many photographs as you like. We no longer have any restrictions on photography here in Portsmouth. Na verdade, isso aqui é um passeio e para ver os navios de guerra. Vai passar o submarino. This was all dug out by hand by prisoner of war. All the mud and silt that was taken was dumped over on the left where you see the red, green and yellow posts. That formed 16 square miles of mud flats which are only visible at low tide. Tudo navio de guerra. They actually say there was more mud and silt moved by hand digging out the part of Portsmouth than what there was digging out the entire cross-channel tunnel. Esse, esse passeio aqui para mostrar a força armada da Inglaterra. Só navio de guerra. Now she was commissioned in 2001, she weighs a staggering 20,000 tons when fully loaded and she's 173 meters long.